If there's a an obstacle to overcome, we're going to overcome it. If there's a barrier that needs to be broken through, we're going to break through it. This is what winning is about. I want you to think about something. I want you to think about some of the greatest accomplishments that have ever happened in the world. Um, I'm talking about the Wright brothers inventing an airplane. I'm talking about, you know, Usain Bolt running a 100 meter dash, setting a world record. I'm talking about some of the greatest achievements in human history. Do you think that any of these people, any single one of them, got where they want to go or accomplish what it is they set out to accomplish by going half, by going half throttle? Okay, Lewis Hamilton isn't the Formula One champion because he goes around the motherfucking racetrack at half throttle. If you guys don't wake the fuck up and understand what the world's really about, you're going to lose. And not only are you going to lose, your kids are going to lose. And their kids are going to lose. And their kids' kids are going to lose. Because you guys have been indoctrinated by the education system, by your parents, by your teachers, by uh, social trends to believe that everything is just going to happen for you okay and what i see now is a is a big group of our population who are young beating on this victim drum and trying to uh, identify what victim group they belong to and i'm going to tell you guys you guys can beat on that drum as long and as loud as you want to you can do it your whole life and a lot of people do And you will never win with that, ever. Do you actually want a a, a fulfilling, good life? Or do you want to just beat this drum your whole life? Because the people that you listen to, they're all telling you the same shit. Oh, take it easy on yourself. Oh, you know, it's okay to get 17th place. Oh, you know, everything matters. And, And, you know, you're special. Guys, you're not special. 17th place doesn't mean it ain't ever going to mean and if you think it means that's what you're going to get you're going to get your whole life okay and I'm so tired of seeing people who can't recognize the obvious of that you have a choice you have a choice your choice is to either join this group over here of nobodies and nothings and celebrate nothing with them every weekend Or you could come over here and you can understand that the only thing noble about victimhood is overcoming it. You can understand that the only thing noble about your life is going to be what you show people is actually possible. Okay? We're all put here for a reason. And it's not to go over here and beat on this drum about what should be and what's not fair. The world will never be fair. The world will never, ever be fair. Someone will always have an easier path than you. Someone will always have a more difficult path than you. Regardless of how difficult you think your path is, there's lots of people out there who have had that same path and actually won huge with that path. You're just choosing not to. If you can't understand that you have to make this decision, you are going to be in deep shit come your 30s and your 40s and your 50s. And if you don't believe me, go look at the people in the 30s, 40s, and 50s that you know and listen to what they say. And I guarantee you, you're going to hear a whole bunch of shit about how the world's unfair, how they got screwed. Or, and they're going to have this long list of events that happened to them that have created the scenario that they live in now. And I, I, don't, I don't buy that. I don't buy it. It's not true. Because what really happened was they gave up. They decided that instead of investing their time in skills like discipline and grit and fortitude and the ability to overcome and the ability to understand how to get done and the ability on how to understand how details actually create the skill set in your life, okay? They don't they don't do that. They just go over here and cry. So your choice is go over here and cry or put the work in now to invest in these skills. When I look around at what's going on in the world right now, one of the things that pisses me off the most is that when I was growing up, 
You know, we were taught, you know, you could be anything you want. You want to be an astronaut, you could do it. You want to, you want to be a, a chef, you could do that. You want to be a firefighter, you could do that. That's when I was growing up. Now, the teachers are telling the kids, especially the minority kids, that they cannot do anything in this country. You cannot achieve anything. You're not going to be successful. Doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't matter what you do. You're going to fail. And dude, I, I think that's the biggest travesty and the biggest crock of that's going on in our world right now. Because we, as adults, should be encouraging these kids. We should be teaching these kids what is truly possible instead of squashing their dreams and squashing their mentality and squashing what they believe they're capable of before they even go out and try. Okay, because I'm a stubborn mother. Like you could tell me I'm not gonna be able to do and I will spite you by doing it. That's just me. I have the ability to take the negative and turn it into productive action. I understand what it's like to get told you're a loser or you're crazy or when are you gonna get serious about your life? You know, I worked 10 years, guys. My first 10 years of business, I made $58,000 cumulative, okay? For 10 years, I heard every person I know making fun of me. I heard every person I know telling me it was that, that I was wasting my time. And I'm sure you guys can relate to that, especially you younger guys, younger girls too, okay? You understand what it's like to have people tell you that you can't do it. And I'm gonna tell you something, and this is the truth, if you're willing to pay the price and you're willing to do the work and you're willing to take the time and you're willing to consistently get up when you are knocked down over and over and over again, which is going to happen to you if you're pursuing anything outside of the norm, you can make it here. If you choose, you can also find every excuse as to why you won't make it. You can find every reason if you look for it as to why you won't make it. But at the end of the day, there's gonna be two groups of people. The one group is gonna get told that they can't do it. And instead of fighting and instead of working and instead of you know, saying, well, dad, I'm not willing to accept that. Those people are going to just take it. And that's what society's counting on. Society is counting on you giving up. Because if you give up, then you can become dependent on the government system to provide for your whole life. That's gonna be the bigger group. Then there's gonna be a smaller group. And the smaller group is gonna be the group that says, hey, you know what? Um, I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not willing to accept that. I'm not willing to just roll over and take what I'm given. I'm not willing to stop trying because you say that I can't do it. That's what you say. That doesn't mean it's the truth. And for all of you young people out there, I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. Right now, you can literally go almost anywhere and learn from directly from people who have done what it is that you wanna do. We've never had opportunity like we've had. And my advice to you would be to stop identifying with the group and start identifying with the work. Because at the end of the day, guys, one plus one is always gonna equal two. Two plus two is gonna equal four. In 10 years of month work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, it's gonna pay off. It just is. And you'll never convince me otherwise. Because there's people listening right now who have already bought into this. They've already bought into the fact that no matter what they do, they can't win. And that's just not true. And I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to you guys right now who still have hope, who still have the fire, who still have the want and the will and the desire to be more and become more and contribute more and win more because you know your life will be better and everybody else's life around you will be better. I'm talking to you, mother. You can do this. People who win do and people who lose talk and more importantly, they talk because they've accepted the idea that they can't win. So instead they contribute to everybody else trying to become part of this group. Every single mother 
has the potential to be great. You might not be become the richest person in the world. Maybe that's not even what you want to become, but you have the ability to create a great life, create a great existence. You're only here for a short time. If you're not going to show people what's possible, who the f- else is? Who's going to show your kids? Are you going to fail those people? Are you going to buy into the narrative that you can't? If there's a f- an obstacle to overcome, we're going to overcome it. If there's a f- barrier that needs to be broken through, we're going to f- break through it. This is what winning is about. And at the end of the day, the world needs winners because winners show the rest of the people what could be. And every single time a single mother wakes up and realizes that they're living less than their potential, that they're achieving less than what they could, that they are less than what they are supposed to be. Every single time one of those people wakes up, you did a morally good deed by living your best life. You either are or you aren't. You either will or you won't. You're either going to become or you're not going to become. And it's not because of the outside circumstances. It's because of the inside circumstances. You could tell yourself all, all the reasons why you're not. None of it's true. For a lot of you guys, just being aware of your voice and your boss voice is going to make a huge impact on how you react and how you execute. Because once you realize that you're talking yourself out of the things that are actually going to bring benefit into your life, you can stop that real quick. You have plenty of time to get that done. Just wait until later. Or, you know, you don't have enough time, right? It's one of the two things. Your voice knows that actions are going to produce results. And it can't really stop you from taking action, but it can talk you into delaying action. And then eventually you run out of time and you're dead and you didn't do anything, all right? This happens to a lot of people. So when you have this voice come up, the key to overcoming this specific excuse is to clearly stop it immediately and to take action on whatever it is that you're trying to do. You actually learn to train yourself to use your voice as the trigger for you to actually get up and move. That's when you should get up immediately off the couch and then just go walk for 30 minutes or, or you don't have to go out and conquer the world. Guys, we're talking about very slight changes that make a big difference over time. If you could train your brain to use this as a switch to actually trigger you into action. Now you're in a position of power. Now you're in a position of control. And now, even though, you know, you're not conquering the world, right? Maybe you don't have the best workout you ever had. Maybe you maybe you just go do something that you wouldn't normally have done. What you normally would have done uh, over the course of time, they, that adds up to a big thing at the end of the year. So do you wanna look like cool this week or do you wanna look cool for your whole life? Like, comment, and subscribe.